What country, Air Boys? Wasn't it a great idea to go spend a week with my brother on the farm? No. Isn't it good to get away from the TV? No. And won't it be great to get up at the crack of dawn, work in the fields, and do chores? No, no, and no. And in that order. Yeah. Seven days with no TV, no pizza delivery, and John calling his brother a name he doesn't like. Don't call me Duck Boy. 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 Duck Boy, Duck Boy, Duck Boy. Told you. You like working here on the farm, John. It's a very efficient operation. That's my farmhand, Ralph. How's it going, Ralph? Fine, Mr. Arbuckle. I'm just about to go commence the milk and the cows. Later on, Ralph will collect the eggs that my chickens have laid today. They are all very productive. Sure looks that way, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <clears throat> and later, he or I will milk the cows. I sell the milk, the eggs, the crops at the local farmer's market. It's going to be fun to work here, Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. <laughs> <laughs> You are way too happy to be here, Odie. I'm going to start the milking, Mr. Arbuckle, but I wanted to ask you about something. We got this ad here. It says, high definition cable TV, 250 channels of movies, sports, music, programs like Super Millionaire Name That Fish, and... Forget about it. We've decided not to have TV on this farm. No TV? That's inhumane. Well, there are some good things on TV. Maybe, but we took a vote. I let all the animals vote, and we all decided no TV on this farm. Do you want TV here, ladies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what do a bunch of cows know? Just thought I'd ask. It's settled. No TV on this farm. Come on, John. You can go with me into town to pick up the supplies. Fine with me, Doc Boy. Garfield, you and Odie can do the chores while we're gone. I made up a short list. Chores? Is that anything like work? Oh, and before I forget, John... Don't call me Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Doc Boy! Whew. We have an awful lot of things to do, Oat. We better get to work. First off, there's raking the leaves. Then we gotta wash the windows in the barn. Then we have to pile up the firewood. Missed a spot. Gee, all my favorite shows are on and I'm missing them. I know, I know, they voted. Well then, we'll just have to demand a recount. Huh? You know, Chad's. This here's how you get mail. Wouldn't it be easier to just go down to the supermarket? They have a whole refrigerator case of this stuff. That's about if you give it a try, cat. Now, this is a strange way to get milk. Excuse the claws, ma'am. Yeah! <sighs> Boy, you think that's funny, do you? Sorry, I'm just bored because there's no TV to watch on this farm. TV? What's so great about TV? What's so great? You can see the world without having to actually get up and do something. Look at all these great channels, like the All Hopscotch Network. And over here is special programming for cows. A cooking show with recipes for the most delicious cud you ever chewed. Oh, tell me more. Oh, everything on TV is so great. Do you really think we'll get TV out here soon? I'm working on it. 
Next up, we have to convince the chickens, and then the horses. Close to your farm, Doc Boy. We are. And don't call me Doc Boy. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy. Hey, that truck's from the cable TV company. I thought you weren't going to order it. That's what I thought, too. All hooked up, sir. I didn't order cable TV. Your farmhand did. He called, I rushed right out here. Got here before the pizza delivery guy. Pizza? Buongiorno! I came all the way from the city, many miles, to bring you Vito's fine pies, as ordered, Doc Boy. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Don't you call me Doc Boy, either. So the secret of good Chubal Cud is to start with the top grade grass and weeds, avoid, you know, burrs, their stickers at all costs. What are you all doing? You should be giving milk. Shh! My cows aren't giving milk. But it's okay. My chickens have been laying lots of eggs lately. How's the egg production going? Shh. My chickens aren't laying eggs. Huh? But at least my horses aren't lying around watching TV and eating pizza. How much do you want to bet? What are you doing? No one's doing any work at all. I have to find out who's responsible for this. I have a feeling I know. And now, Mrs. Edna Flurp, for one million dollars, can you name that fish? Looks like Herbert to me. You know, this living on a farm isn't so bad now. My cows are watching TV and eating pizza. My chickens are watching TV and eating pizza. Even my horses are watching TV and eating pizza. And do you know what they said to me? Shh! I'm ruined. My farm will be out of business. <laughs> I'm sorry, Doc. I poured my life into this farm and... Doc? You called me Doc. Yeah, I guess I did. Here comes the mushy part. Do you know how long it's been since you called me Doc instead of Doc Boy? A while? Uh... I'm sorry, Mrs. Squirp. The name of the fish you couldn't identify was Herbert. <laughs> Told you. And now we're dialing a phone number selected completely at random to see if some lucky viewer at home can name this fish. It's a freshwater silver-crusted mango trout. <laughs> I know my fish. If the person we call is watching and can name this fish, he or she will win $100,000. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. The odds are like a zillion to one against him calling here. And again. Hello. Sir, are you watching Name That Fish? I know. I don't watch TV. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, I guess I'm watching. Super. Then for $100,000, can you name that fish? Sure, freshwater silver crusted mango trout. Why? That is correct. That is absolutely correct. You win $100,000. Don't 
Doc, are you okay? I'm right sorry about ruining your farm the way I did, sir. Who needs farming? I'm rich, I'm rich. I'm sort of rich. I'm rich enough. Follow that man, Odie. He's rich, he's rich. He's sort of rich. Big screen TV, all the pizza, paid vacations for your animals? Your prize money will eventually run out. So when it runs out, I'll go back to farming. By that time, everything will be in reruns anyway. Mmm, good pizza do you have out here. Mmm, mmm. Okay. <laughs> We were supposed to share that pizza! Don't worry, I'll leave you the crust. Come back with that pillow. It's my pillow, I paid for it. Yeah, but I'm the one who got cat hair all over it. <laughs> Garfield, there's a mouse in the kitchen. You were supposed to do something to keep mice out. I am. I'm eating every last piece of cheese we have. Boy, John and Garfield haven't been getting along well lately, have they? And you'd like them to be friends, wouldn't you? Well, we gotta do something. I can't live in a house with so much bickering. I'm a sensitive rodent. And I think I got an idea. Wanna help, Odie? Okay, here's what I need you to do. But I gotta whisper something. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. Monster movie. We're going to watch the movie show. Monster movie. Movie show. Monster movie. Movie show. Monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. We're going to watch the music show. We're going to watch the monster movie. Show. Movie. Are you and your movie pet show. not getting movie along? Movie Are the two movie of you movie. always movie quarreling movie and movie bickering? Movie. Movie. If the arguments movie. in your house movie. are getting out movie. of hand, movie. maybe you're movie. just movie. what we've been looking for. We have a new reality TV show called Pet Matchers. Our mission is to match the right pet and master. Each week, we put one pet owner and one pet through a series of tests calculated to measure if they go together. Last week, this woman came to us with her dog, an obvious mismatch. After our tests, she left with her new perfectly matched pet. Gee, that, that sounds, sounds interesting. interesting. Maybe we ought to go on that show. They'll get tested, they'll realize they're made for each other, and no more arguing. That is, if it works. with your host, Chuck Yenta. Welcome back. We're testing this man, John Arbinkle, 
John Arbuckle. Right. John Arbuckle, to see if he and his cat Garfield are a good match. <sighs> I hope they don't expect me to sing. The computer has analyzed your likes. Here are yours, John Arbuckle. <clears throat> Summer days, friendly people, walks on the beach, a good baseball game. Yep, that's me. And here is what the computer has determined as the likes of your pet. Beef lasagna, sausage lasagna, spinach lasagna, more beef lasagna. Did it mention lasagna? Smart computer. Let's see the other ways in which you two are compatible or incompatible. Favorite way to spend the evening? Favorite sport? Favorite hobby. Oh, how this testing is making me feel like I need a nap. Mr. Yenta, have these tests enabled you to determine my personality? Yes. You don't seem to have one. But we have determined that you and your cat Garfield are... Incompatible. You mean Garfield shouldn't be my cat? That is correct. But don't worry, we've determined the ideal new pet for you and the ideal new master for your cat. Hmm? There was someone other than John? Garfield Cat, your new owner is... Freddy Applegate, age nine. Where's my new kitty cat? I want my new kitty cat. No, kitty cat. Oh. Oh, oh my. But Garfield and I have always... And John Arbuckle, the ideal new pet for you, as determined by the computer, is... This floor! Are you sure the computer didn't make a mistake? Computers never make mistakes. Now, you go to your homes and we'll have camera crews follow you and report back on next week's show how things are working out. I already hate this. I'm gonna take you home and we're gonna play Rock of the Ride! No, no. Don't be sad, Odie. Our new friend will fit right into our lives and it will all be good. There you go, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all he does. Look at the bright side. I'll bet Garfield's getting along great in his new home. Kitty cat! It's time for lunch! Did someone say lunch? You did say lunch. Oh boy, I'm gonna like it here. For lunch, I'm having meatloaf with mashed potatoes and cream corn plus. For dessert, I get ice cream with hot fudge on it. But what about the cat? What about the cat? And you get a nice big bowl of kitty crunchies. <gasps> hey, if you think this is food, you eat it. <sighs> you're my cat, and you're going to do what I tell you. We're going to play Rocket to Mars. We are? Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like playing Rocket to Mars. Get me to blast off at Mars! Three, two, one, blast off! I was right. I don't like playing Rocket to Mars! I don't like it one bit. So, Froggy, would you like to go for a walk? Chase birds? Do anything? How about kicking the puppy off the table? My old pet loved kicking the puppy off the table. <sighs> this is the most boring pet in the world. I'll bet things are more exciting in Garfield's new home. Now he wants to play cops and robbers, and I have to be a robber. Oh, where is that bad kitty cat burglar? 
Oh, no. Sir, I'm oh. going to have to arrest him and make sure he receives the ultimate punishment. This is the ultimate punishment. Maybe he's hiding in here somewhere. Ooh, when I catch him, he'll be sorry. I'm already sorry. No, I guess he's not in here. I'll go search around outside. <gasps> Boy, am I sorry. Gotcha! But not as sorry as I'm gonna be. The burglar's putting up a struggle. He's trying to get away. A fine idea. He's making a break for his getaway car. I am? He made me lasagna. Yeah! I, I can't move. I can't move. Where's my kitty cat? I have another game for him. Oh, yeah. I can move. I've got to get Garfield back in my life. I've got to get John back in my life. <laughs> Garfield, you should come back and be my loyal, devoted cat again. John, I should come back and you should be the guy who feeds me again. <sighs> hey. <laughs> well, that's what our camels recorded. I guess this pet match just didn't work. But things have all been straightened out. Garfield and John are together again. And Freddy has a new pet, too. Look at if I rocket to Mars. <laughs> hey, you come back here. You're my frog now. And meanwhile, here's your faithful dog, Odie. Glad to see Master and Pat reunited. And to thank you for letting pet matchers try to match your pets, we have a nice gift for you. Something edible, I hope? Our computer has calculated what would be the ideal vacation spot for you. And we're going to send you there all expenses paid. The perfect vacation spot? I can't wait. Oh, the, the, the per per perfect vacation spot? I thought the computers didn't make mistakes. <laughs> Computers don't make mistakes. Pets make mistakes. Table check. <laughs> Eating John's lunch for him. Check. Tread new drapes. Check. Okay, that's everything on my to-do list for today. Huh? <laughs> Huh? 
here. Please send this off. In case you're wondering, I just sent that DVD I made of you misbehaving to Dr. Whipple. No, not Dr. Whipple. I want to watch a really mindless game show featuring people dressed up as large chickens. I don't care what you want to watch, Garfield. We're going to watch Dr. Whipple. As you know, I specialize in teaching obedience to pets, especially cats who don't know how to behave and are lazy, rude, and impossible. I hear there are such cats. Yesterday on this show, I showed you one of the worst behaved cats I've uh, ever uh, come across. Here's a tape of how kittikins used to be. <laughs> hey, seems like my kind of guy. In fact, Kittykins looks kind of familiar. Since then, I have put Kittykins through my no-fail guaranteed pet obedience training, and here he is. <clears throat> Kittykins, would you like to chase this bird? Mm. No. Okay. Oh, <laughs> You see, you can train your disobedient pet with my exclusive line of DVDs, what? tapes, books, computer software, pet Don't food, worry, Garfield. I'm not going to order all that expensive writer. equipment. <sighs> Good. For a minute there, I thought... Come on in. It's open. John, you didn't. You wouldn't. You couldn't. You did. Come with me, cat. Oh. Oh. Farewell, Odie. I'll be back. But I may not be me when I return. <sighs> John. How could you do this to me? Oh, Whoa. good morning, cat. <clears throat> now, if you do as you're told, we can get through this in a hurry. After several hours of my training, you will be a tame, docile Whoa. cat like Kittikins here. Why does Kittikins look so familiar to me? Huh? First training method, the sound chamber. This will instill in you a sense of warning if you misbehave. Don't scratch. Don't mistreat puppies. What you've been I'll be back in about an hour. No. All right, it's an hour later. Fine. We're off to a good start. Yuck. This is to break you of your atrocious habit of kicking small puppies off of tables. Whenever you kick the robotic puppy off, well, just try it and see what happens. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I'm not taking this lion down. I know just how you feel, pal. And now it's time to eat. Why do I have the feeling this is the first time ever I'm not going to like doing that? All right, here is your food. <laughs> Kitty Crunch, dry nuggets, styrofoam flavor, and here is my dinner. Prime rib with mashed potatoes, gravy, cream corn, and apple pie a la mode for dessert. Ooh, yum and double yum. You must eat your food and not eat my food. Because do you know what will happen if you try to eat my food? 
That's right. If you try for my food, a half-ton safe will drop on you. So I noticed. Now, make the correct choice. Cat, every time you reach for the prime rib, the safe will drop on you. Don't you realize this? <laughs> then why do you keep reaching for the prime rib? Because it's just the way I like it, medium rare. Good job. Now you've had the complete program. And somehow I su su survived. You'll be perfectly behaved when we do my TV show in one hour. <sighs> that was awful. In fact, it was worse than awful. It would have to get better just to be awful. Hi, Garfield. Hi, Kittykins. Hey. How do you know my name, Kittykins? Wait. You're Harry, that cat from my neighborhood. <laughs> That's me. Well, what are you doing pretending to be a tame cat named Kittykins? You're as bad as I am. I got me a job. I pretend to be a successful result of Doc Whipple's training, and every day he pays me my weight in tuna fish. He can afford that? Are you kidding? You know how much this guy makes off these stupid lessons he sells? How much does he make? Enough to pay you your weight in tuna. Well, that's a lot of tuna. Yeah, play along. Help him sell the stuff, and you could have the same great job I have. Hmm. Which would I rather have? My weight in tuna every day? Or my integrity? Ooh, these moral decisions are hard. And now, the world's foremost trainer of problem pots, Dr. Wimble! <laughs> see the results of my greatest challenge. Worst behaved cat I'd ever seen. Garfield. I put him through my extreme housebreaking program, and now you will see the results. <laughs> Garfield. Garfield, do you have any desire to mistreat small puppies? Do you have any desire to steal food or shred drapes? <laughs> that cat has become so well behaved. We have to order Dr. Whipple's DVDs, tapes, and books. But we don't have a cat. Oh, very good, Garfield. Now, is there anything you'd like to do? Yes, this. <laughs> Catch him! Going down. That cat is not well behaved. I thought Dr. Whipple had trained him not to do things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I have to go tend to, uh, matters. <laughs> Got it, you. Struggle all you want, cat. You ain't getting away. There he is, the cat who's trying to ruin my business. Who, me? Sweet, well-behaved me? But it won't work. The public is too stupid to catch on. Hey, so what if my training program doesn't work? They still send me tons of money. <laughs> Those idiots. I got a sweet racket going here, and you won't stop me. Dr. Whipple, they're hearing you on national television. They can't hear me. I left my microphone on stage. They can, uh... <laughs> Do you have any further words for our listening audience, Doctor? You miserable little... I'm taking my cat home, thank you very much. Thanks for the lessons, Doc. Dr. Whipple, the phone lines are jammed with customers canceling orders and demanding refunds. Why didn't you teach that cat how to behave? I did. Unfortunately, that's how he behaves. Garfield, I wanted to say again how sorry I am I sent you to that terrible doctor. 
Oh, I'd say uh, eight more apologies ought to do it. <sighs> well, Odie, I'm home and I'm still me. Dr. Whipple didn't whip me into shape the way he wanted. Oh, that reminds me, it's time for his show. The Dr. Whipple show normally seen at this time will never be seen again. Wow, this couldn't have gone better. Instead, stay tuned for a really mindless game show featuring people dressed as large chickens. I was wrong. That's better. When those two hounds had me cornered in that alleyway, I pounced on a garbage bin, climbed over a fence, and fawoosh, made my way out across the rooftops. Wow, Harry, you are so brave. Hey, that's nothing compared to what happened to me last week when I... <laughs> Garfield. What's so funny? Uh, nothing. Garfield, it's just that you've always been such a domestic pet. When was the last time you did anything remotely cat-like? Only yesterday, I watched TV all afternoon and then had a full tray of lasagna. See, Garfield, that stuff doesn't really qualify as cat-like. And you know all of this because... Mm. <laughs> Get in touch with your inner cat. That sounds like a lot of baloney to me. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. Let's see, chapter one, cats hunt mice threatening the safety of their household. Hiya, Garfield. What's up? Hiya, Squeak. I'm good. Uh... <gasps> wow, that was pretty good. You almost had me. Harry and Arlene are right. I'm so out of touch with my natural instinct. I've got to do something about it. Chapter two, cats climb trees. Huh. Well, if I get stuck up there and can't get down, not like it would be the first time. Come on, Garfield, act like a cat. with your inner cat, huh? Next time I'll stick to mauling the sofa. There's really no need to go all panicky over this. It's only a matter of minutes before someone rescues me. <laughs> Please, somebody save me, help! Please, save me, help! If John can't hear me, I know someone who will. Yes, I'm happy to see you too, Odie. Now be a good dog and go fetch John. That's not John, that's his slippers. I want you to go fetch John. No, no, no! Huh? If that dog was any dumber, he'd have to stand on a chair to raise his IQ. 
Just go away, Odie. You're useless. You? Climbing up a tree? <laughs> Not in a million years. Great. Now we're both stuck up in this stupid tree. Hi, guys. Of all the trees in all the world, and you had to pick mine. <laughs> Do you guys know how to get down? Let's see. Cats have the natural tendency to always land gracefully on their feet. How about you jump off? We'll watch. Well, what if no one finds us? What if we stay here for weeks, months, deprived of any food and water? Gee, Nerma, why do you always have to be such a wiener head? Hiya, guys. What gives? Huh? Oh, we're just uh, uh, enjoying the breathtaking scenery. Oh, I see. I was under the impression you might be, you know, stuck up there. Oh, <laughs> yes, right, stuck in a tree. <laughs> Why, I say? And uh, what could possibly make you think that I, a perfectly normal feline, could get stuck in a tree? I don't know. If you say so. <laughs> Enjoy the scenery. Why did you lie to him, Garfield? He could have helped us. To salvage my eroded reputation, Nermo. And yours, too. <laughs> Help! Over Help! here! Help! Over here! Help me! <laughs> I need to buy myself a new pair. Way too much static. Over here. Yeah. Garfield? Normal? Odie, you're up in a tree. And the grass is green, Captain Obvious. How on earth did the three of you get stuck up there? Well, we're not stuck. We're just gathering pine cones. Perhaps you'd like to join us? Come on, Garfield. Don't be a scaredy cat. You can do this. It's easy. Look. Climb up. Climb down. Up, down, up, down. Just go fetch that big ladder over there and spare us the climbing tutorial, will you? Climb up and climb down. <laughs> I'm gonna break my neck! Somebody help! <laughs> Who's the scaredy cat now, pray tell? Uh, Mr. Arbuckle? Uh, uh, do you think you could give us a hand here and pass me that big ladder over there? Sure. Then again, if I pretend I didn't hear you, I could carry on with my morning delivery without any fears of getting maimed by your mangy creatures. Did you just call me mangy? <laughs> I was voted cutest cat of the county three times in a row, buddy. Take that, you letter carrier, you. That's telling him, Nermal. Ouch, ouch, you, you mean little fur balls. Guys, guys, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> ouch, ouch. He totally had it coming. <sighs> Congratulations, guys. You've just chased away the only help we could get. <laughs> I know. We're going to form a chain and lower one of us to the ground so that he can go get the ladder. It's got to work. Who wants to be a volunteer? Whoa. Fine. We'll draw sticks. <laughs> oh, great. I can't believe I let them talk me into this. Garfield, you can let go now! Oh, my. Help! Pull me up! Pull me up! Garfield, hang on! 
That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, these tongues all slippery. Disgusting. Guys, I'm hanging on for dear life here. Sorry, Garfield. At least we tried. Oh, but wait! I forgot about my cell phone. I'm calling Liz at the vet clinic. And tell her what? Please come and rescue your boyfriend from a tree? <sighs> Way too humiliating. Even for me. Oh, please. Can't you put your male pride aside for a sec? This is an emergency situation we've got here. Sorry, guys. I don't want Liz to realize I'm a complete dork. But I guess I could call 911. It's their jobs to rescue people, right? And Liz won't have to know about it. We'll be down out of this tree in no time. What are you doing in the top of that tree? I was just uh, trying to rescue <laughs> these guys, and <laughs> and that's when I sprained my ankle. Ouch! Oh! Well, it's no Oscar-winning performance, but maybe he'll buy it. Let me help you, sir. Uh, fire on Broadway and 5th. Yep, roger that. We're on our way. Hey, come back! Come back! Oopsie doopsie. Sometimes I get a little squeamish about heights. Really? Aren't you guys trained for this sort of situation? I'm a fireman, not a monkey. This is getting ridiculous. At this rate, the entire neighborhood will join us in this tree. <laughs> I guess it can't get any worse, right? Oh. I just can't wait to watch TV, eat lasagna, and do all non-cat things. See? It wasn't so bad, was it? I... Yes, uh. <laughs> 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 right, stuck in a tree. <laughs> Interrupt your dream. Well, no, I don't. 
But how am I supposed to watch TV with you sleeping on a remote? <sighs> it's time for my favorite show. Are you smarter than lasagna? I'm going to give you a two on this. I think you need to work on your poise and your coordination. And while you're at it, see what you can do about that tongue. Why the long face? I know how to cheer you up. I'll throw the stick and you fetch it. How about that, boy? Odie doesn't want to fetch the stick? Odie always wants to fetch the stick. He's been acting like that all day. I'd say it's because he finally realized how dumb he was, but he's not smart enough to know that. And this water pistol. <gasps> Didn't he realize it's filled with strawberry lemonade? Hmm. Hmm. I need some more sugar. Hey, Odie, I've got a little treat for you. Here's a yummy bone for my little dog. He doesn't want to fetch the stick? He doesn't want a bone? Maybe I should take him to Liz for a checkup. Pupster, open those doggy eyes of yours. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. You were thrashing around in your sleep. I thought you were having a bad dream. 
You were dreaming a good dream? Uh-huh. About food. Uh-uh. Were there any other things worth dreaming about? Oh, okay, what was it? You were dreaming about being a great superhero and saving people in distress? Yeah. Especially cute ladies in distress? Yeah. Well, personally, I prefer dreaming about food. I think I'll uh, dream up some Mugu Gai Pan. Buddy, <laughs> is it okay if I tell you something? You promise you won't take it the wrong way? Good. Dogs don't fly, you got that? Dogs do not fly. Now stop with these daydreams. If you wanted to fly, you should have had yourself born as a bird. <gasps> ah, forget the nap. I'm gonna go down to Vito's for free pizza he doesn't know he's giving out today. <laughs> you can't come this way, cat. We're pouring asphalt and repaving here. Go around to the next block. The next block? Doesn't that man know the shortest route between me and the pizza is a straight line? I'll just walk on the other side of the street. I don't know what it is with that dog. He just does one dumb thing after another. <gasps> huh? Then again, he never got his feet stuck in freshly poured asphalt. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little problem here. <gasps> Make that a big problem. Help! Somebody help! 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 And double help! I'm gonna be flatter than John's last souffle! So, uh, what do you think, Sam? You wanna go bowling after work? Stop! Help! Stop! 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 Help! Sam, would you speak up? Some cat is howling out here or something. Huh? <laughs> Dogs don't fly, you got that? Now stop with these daydreams. Thanks for trying to save me, but now there are two of us about to become animal pancakes. Goodbye, whoever you are. Wow, did you see that? That the flying dog saved them from the steamroller. You're nuts. Dogs can't fly. That one did, just like a superhero. Huh? Did you see? I mean, I thought that the one thing and then... Oh, never mind. <sighs> hey, Odie. I had the strangest dream. I dreamed earlier today that you were flying. You were flying and you rescued me and a cute girl dog just like a superhero. <laughs> Silly dream, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess as long as it was a dream, I can go back to sleep. Good night, Odie. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Aww.